and welcome to the 14th video in mp3travelclub.com's series on managing your photographs with Picasa. Today we're going to look at sharing your photographs and there are a number of different ways of doing it um, available to you. Uh, the first two are very much Picasa and Googley solutions. Picasa web albums effectively it copies any album you want to upload to Google and your friends and relations and colleagues can all view it from there. Now this is a good solution if you want to send up big files uh, because um, you know it won't get stuck in people's email inbox or rather not in the inbox. Um, email of course can be a little bit more private uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then I'll show you how to use Facebook with Picasa, Flickr with Picasa, the blogger button that uh, if you have a blogger based blog and if you have a WordPress blog then I'll show you the where to get the plugin that uh, will allow you to upload your albums. Right, to talk about the first of those mechanisms let's have a look at the uh, here we are in the library again looking at the Amsterdam folder why not um, and this gives us this button here gives us the facility to upload to web albums now we've got an album here of Amsterdam sitting on the hard drive if we put it on the internet then everybody else can see it so Google will give us a, a place for that with a, a special URL etc. Uh, now we can put it in an existing folder which is up on the web and there, there's one uh, we can give it a new name by clicking on this button or we can put some of uh, these in a friends album and maybe if you've been to a party or a wedding or funeral or whatever these are the sort of things you might want to put you know, photographs in someone else's album I keep saying folder uh, you then have the option to change the quality of the image you're, you're sending up. Um, this 1600 pixels one is quite good, it gives you nice clear uh, resolution uh, without filling up all your space. So that's the one that's good. Now the privacy, uh, the visibility of this is interesting. Publicly on the web allows anybody in the world to see it. Anyone with this link means that if you send the links on to your friends and they send it on and they that person the third second person send it on that you know eventually a lot of people could see this link uh, and, and the photographs in it and then private allows you to specify exactly who can see it uh, it's literally the people you send a Google mail or a mail and they have to log into their Google mail in order to actually view those slides so that's that can be give you quite good control Um, the other thing you can do is you can share it with the groups. Now these are Google Mail groups. Once you've created those, you can create them here. In fact, you just uh, click on one of them and say share it with those people. All right, and that will mean that those people will get an email with the link in it saying, "Have a look at my pickies." Okay, this shows you how much space is left in your Google uh, um, Web Albums account, Picasso Web Albums account, and then you click on Upload or cancel. And I'm going to cancel because I've already uploaded this folder. Right, the second mechanism to look at is the emailing link. You have the choice to use Outlook or Gmail. I'm going to use Gmail. Uh, and as soon as I put a, somebody's email in here, then I can send whatever's in here. I can change the subject. I might say Amsterdam pictures and I might write a personal message in here and then I just simply send it I'm going to discard it because I don't want to send this one to anyone now the third thing we talked about was using the Facebook to Picasa uploader and there's an app here and you can see it apps.facebook.com Picasa uploader and that simply allows you to put uh, a folder from Picasa straight onto your Facebook page uh, and into a, um, an album on Facebook and people can see it from there. If you're a Flickr fan instead, sometimes uh, it's a bit better, there's a, an app called Picasa to Flickr where you can upload your photographs from Picasa to Flickr as it says and that's on googlesystem.blogspot.com da 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 but uh, Picasa to Flickr, Google that and you'll find it. If you're a blogger, if you use Blogger as your platform then you'll rest, see this, uh, put your photos in, in your blog there. You click on the button, and of course it's waiting, wants to know where my blog is, but my blog isn't on Blogger. But if I was to log in here, etc., etc., via my uh, the 
blue blogger account would come up here. Okay. Now the another one I want to show you is uh, the WordPress uh, thing. Now WordPress, uh, as if you have a WordPress blog, then you will know that it uh, uses plugins to extend the functions of the blog. And this particular plugin, Picasa Album Uploader, is the only one I can find that actually takes photographs directly from your Picasa desktop into a WordPress blog. So there it is, Picasa Album Uploader. Thanks for watching our series on uh, using Picasa for managing your travel photographs. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have, I hope you've liked and shared it with all your friends. Uh, told them all about it and us. Uh, um, we're going to have another series on travel photography tips soon with uh, tips from a photographer, a professional photographer. Uh, some rather surprising things to me on how to use flash and uh, composing your photographs and things like that. Basic stuff like holding your camera properly as well, which will be uh, I found most interesting making them. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Um, pop on over to the website at mp3travelclub.com and uh, we'll hope to uh, hear from you again soon. Uh, please make a comment on the video if you wish. Okay, bye-bye.